Hello guys, welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. Today we're going to be doing a shrimp versus banana. I know we did this video a few years back, but this one is a little bit different. As in, the banana is going to be slightly ripe, right? Because I wanted to see the difference in us adding a banana that has went a little bit brown, right? So I've uh, got the wife to keep a little bit of banana. She likes to make smoothies. Um, this banana was going off. Well, I would consider off. Some people would still eat them. Uh, but when the skin goes brown you can see it's kind of going a little bit soft in the center that's what i would consider something that's going off right but guys whenever you do stuff like this please remember that fruit when it starts to go off produces sugars right and that's not something that you want to add tons of to the tank right so if you're going to try this i can't stress this enough please don't go crazy with the amounts right we're going to use tiny tiny amounts and we're going to put it in one tank only and we're going to record the results right so hopefully guys you will enjoy the rest of the show today um, if you're new to the channel then please do subscribe and like if you haven't already right so today the tank is going to be this one here this is my mixed bee shrimp tank and it is absolutely chock-a-block with shrimp right so we'll soon find out if this uh, banana that's slightly going off will be a little bit sweet to the shrimp um if they like it or not right so let's get into it all right shrimp farm here is the end of the banana that um, i've got my wife to keep can we squeeze it out Yes, we can. You can see it's nice and it's nice and soft. Right, so uh, we are actually going to take probably a piece that's the size of a pea. Right, that's all I want. I want to get the softest part here. Right, so just this little bit here. Right, and we'll use that part there, and we'll add it to the tank. We'll use a big uh, set of tweezers because this is kind of soft, and we'll see what the reaction of the shrimp is. Before we add the food to the tank, let me quickly just go over the tank just to give you an idea of how much shrimp are actually in this tank. Right, so there's a lot of shrimp here, loads and loads of shrimp in the substrate. Hopefully, you'll be able to see with this camera. They're all over the place. Look at them, bazillions and bazillions of shrimp. Right, they're everywhere. They're all over the filters. The lot. Right, so I'm going to prop this food up a little bit here on the sleeve. I'm going to use my giant set of tongs. And no, I don't mean my thong, I mean my giant set of tongs. This is the ones I stole from the wife and she uses them to pluck her eyebrows. No, she does. These are actually the ones I bought this size just so I don't have to put my arms all the way into the tank. Right? These are, what, they would be 50 centimeters probably. Big, big tweezers for plucking the eyebrows. Right, so let's get our food into the water. Let's see. Guys, I'm not very optimistic about picking this up and putting it into the tank uh, successfully because I think I might squish it an awful lot. Right, so as I said, we're going to put it on that leaf there. Let's go. And remember guys, when you try stuff like this, do it in moderation. Right guys, as well, before we put it on the bottom, please let me know in the comment section below. Sink or float. I didn't think about this. Will it sink or float? And it's gonna float, oh my god. I swear to god, I think the other one sunk. So we might have to add something to this to get it to sink. Let me see. Let me see, I'll be back in a second, we'll see what I can find. We have a little bit of a stainless steel barbecue skewer. Um, I'm gonna put it through it. Hopefully this won't break up because uh, it will be so easy for us to put this in the tank as it is. It's very, very touch and go. It's flimsy as F. Let's get you guys over here. And let's see if we can put you in the tank like this. Without it breaking up. Right, so I'll need to pop you on the side here just for a second. And then we'll have to grab our tweezers. Giant tweezers. And then we'll have to try and put this in again without dropping it right come on can we do this yes come on in we go right so i can't remember guys i think the last time we did the banana test before i think i think it sunk right so banana that's going off is definitely a little bit a little bit different let's put you here please oh there you go that worked well right and i think if anything, what might happen is we might uh, get some drunk shrimp. No, we won't. I don't think we will. I don't think there's enough uh, sugar in this for it to go alcoholic, but 
Um, just bear in mind guys, don't use too much uh, rotten fruit in a shrimp tank, okay? What we'll do guys as well is, right now, we're going to put you on the shrimp cam in macro mode, uh, so you can see the shrimp a little bit clearer. Right, and guys, if you've enjoyed today's show as well, then please do subscribe, like and comment, and I'll make more shrimp verses as well. Let me know in the comment section what you would like to see in shrimp verses. Okay, let's see if we can get some destructive videos of shrimp destroying all types of food. Happy shrimp eating, guys.